Hello all, welcome to this hardware session of uh, PICI2 programming. This is the PICI2 hardware. This is the USB hardware with uh, ICSP, that is in circuit serial programmer. It gets power from the USB itself and no external power supply is required. It has got an inbuilt PIC18F2550 loaded with uh, PIC firmware and bootloader. And this board is the PIC flasher board. It converts the ICSP to ZIF socket so that you can place the target IC onto the ZIF socket. There is also a switch provided on the PIC flasher board so that you can select 40 pin ICs. 40 or 28 pin ICs or even 8, 14, 18 pin ICs. We are going to use PIC 16F877A which is a 40 pin IC. So keep this switch in 40 pin position. This has got an inbuilt buck converter also that converts 5 volt to 12 volt which is applied to the MCLR pin at the time of programming. Now fire up the PICI2 standalone software. It says PICI2 is not found. Connect the USB cable to the PICI2 hardware. And then under tools, click on check communication. Now PIC2 is detected. Select the IC. We are going to use PIC 16F877A. Select the IC. Now the voltage changes to 5 volt. Place the 16F877IC onto the ZIF socket take care that pin 1 is near the handle this is the pin 1 of pick 16F877A your dot is there this is the pin 1 you place the IC onto the zip socket so that the pin 1 is near the handle close the handle ensure that uh, the switch is in 40 pin position Now in PICI2 software, open file and then click on import hex. You click on to the hex file that is created using MPLAB IDE. Click on open. Now hex file is successfully imported. Click on write. Now on PICI2 hardware you can see the green LED changes to red and uh, programming is successful now if you want you can click on erase to erase the program and again load the file and write it on pick it to flasher also you can see the red LED glowing while uh, programming is done Now programming is over, you can remove the IC from the uh, ZIF socket and use it in your project. These are the development boards available in the market for uh, 40 pin PIC ICs. This is a full fledged PIC development board. It has got a 20 MHz uh, crystal oscillator and all port pins are extended using Berg sticks and it has got a zip socket to place the uh, target IC it has also got a built-in power supply so only 12 volt uh, DC or 12 volt AC should be given here already it, it has got a bridge and a 705 regulator it has also got a 4x4 matrix keypad matrix LCD connector where you can connect a 16 by 2 LCD this uh, potentiometers are for analog inputs and it has also got a ULN2003 motor driver IC 
24C02 E square prom DS1307 clock IC with uh, 32 kilohertz crystal and max 232 IC is provided for RS232 connection and a 7 segment display 4 7 segment displays are provided with uh, drivers driver transistors and it has also got an ICSP connector so that you can connect the picket to hardware for programming you need not remove every time the target IC you can place the target IC here and you can use the ICSP connector for programming and this same board can also be used for testing using jumpers this is another version of uh, 40 pin development board this has got only RS232 uh, socket for max 232 IC and uh, all the port pins are extended and a 7805 regulator is provided it has got a 4 MHz crystal oscillator and reset button is also provided and this is the economy version of the 40 pin development board this has got only a crystal oscillator 4 MHz crystal oscillator and a reset switch and the power and uh, reset LEDs and port pins are extended we shall use this uh, full-fledged PIC development board for testing our IC we provide a 12 volt DC power supply to the development board power LED glows this is the PIC 16F877 IC loaded with hex file place it on the target uh, ZIF socket on the development board ensure that pin 1 is near the handle we have programmed this IC to blink one LED at RA0 bit this is the RA port, port RA and the LSB is RA0 here you connect a wire on this port and connect it to this LED you can see the LED blinking for in-circuit programming you can also use this ICSP connector connect the picket to, to USB and ensure that uh, this header cable is correct, uh, correctly connected so that the ground pin is uh, to the right hand side and PGT to the left place the target IC onto the zip socket pin 1 should match the handle Open up the Piki2 software Click on check communication so that uh, it detects the Piki2 hardware Select the IC SPIC 16 of 877A And from file you import the hex file And then write it Now the red LED glows on the PIKI2 hardware indicating that the uh, hex file is loaded successfully. We have programmed for the RA0 uh, bit to blink an LED. So connect this RA0 to one of the LEDs on the board. Now you can see the LED blinking. 
so the program is written for blinking the LED at R0 bit the LED blinks now thank you for watching